Welcome back, this is Occupy1, and this is my survival-friendly remote control crane. Unlike some other designs you may have seen, this control scheme reserves a button to attach and detach the crane from targets. In this example, the bolts. As you can see, I have full control. Forward, back, left, right, up, down, attach, and detach. It's all there. From the functionality provided, you might expect the redstone to be horribly complex. So I'm sure you'll be glad, perhaps even surprised to know, that this is all it needs. We have one redstone torch, seven pieces of redstone, nine redstone links with four up top, three on the first gantry carriage, one on the second gantry carriage, and then one on the sticker. We then have a clutch and a gear shift. I have to put signs on them because I always forget which one's which. We then have seven shafts, the regular kind. Two gantry carriages, of course. And then however many gantry carriages you need to cover the area that you're going to be operating this in. And that's about it. Now I know if I don't show the specific links that are used, I'll inevitably get questions, but I do just want to point out that they're in the schematic. Um, first up, we have the pink receiver, then the black, then the white, then the blue. All of the receivers are connected to the clutch, so the, the crane won't be able to move unless one of the receivers is being pressed. Only the black and the pink receivers control the gear shift, and that's just to run it in the opposite direction as required. On our first gantry carriage, we have the orange, the pink, and the blue receivers. On the second one, we have just the orange. And then finally, we have the green on the sticker. In our link controller, we have blue connected to up, pink connected to down, white connected to left, black connected to right, green connected to space, which is controlling the sticker and then orange connected to shift, which is enabling the up-down controls to switch to the up-down controls on the pulley. Before we finish up, I just want to point out the schematic files linked in the video description. As a couple of you pointed out, my Discord links weren't working, so I've now self-hosted all of my schematics. If this video has been in any way useful, please drop it a like or a comment. As you can see, this is still a very small channel and every little bit helps. I won't pester you to subscribe here, but do consider checking out my other videos. I try to upload at least every fortnight. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.